Tonight, Columbus Police Chief Joseph Daughtry is pulling his officers out of a joint narcotics task force with the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office. The agencies created the unit as a way to pool resources and personnel to get more drugs off the streets in the city and the county. The interlocal agreement signed by the City Council and the Board of Supervisors does allow for dissolving the unit, but only after specific conditions have been met. Keely Shields talked with local law enforcement and city leaders, and she joins us in the studio. Keely. Chief Joseph Daughtry says he wants to temporarily halt the narcotics task force so he can better address overtime issues and manpower shortages in the department. But some county leaders are concerned about how things are being carried out. The Columbus and Lowndes County Drug Task Force is made up of nine members, but as of this coming Thursday, the city's four officers are reporting back to their regular assignments at the Columbus Police Department. While this may be the best decision for the police department, the interlocal agreement lays out specific guidelines to follow if either party wants to leave. Lowndes County Board of Supervisor President Tripp Hairston says the board's attorney is checking to see if those guidelines have been followed. I not get any notification from the city council. Um, we have our attorney looking into the interlocal agreement and what the, why that is and, and how that can happen. Uh, we, weren't, we did not receive a 30-day notice that that was to happen. So at this point, we just need to know on Thursday or we're going to be in violation of the interlocal agreement. Columbus Police Chief Joseph Daughtry calls the suspension of the task force temporary and says having his officers back will help the department's manpower and overtime issues. I'm the one getting calls from my supervisors because they have three, sometimes four people on a shift. We have to address that because the citizens of this city demand and they, and they deserve better coverage. Sheriff Eddie Hawkins has seen times when the city and county have had their own separate units and when they've worked together. He says it's unfortunate to lose the force because working together they are able to get more done more efficiently, but cracking down on drug and crime will continue. It makes sense for us to have a joint task force and we're all on the same page working together and sharing information and cooperating uh, to take the bad guys off the street and eliminate the, the drugs from the town. Uh, it's unfortunate that this is this happening, but it, it is happening. In the past, there have been strained relationships between the city and county leaders, and some of that strain may still be present. Ward 4 Councilman Pierre Beer says that he supports the chief. It'll never be city against the county, even though the county has been screwing us over for years, but <laughs> it'll never be the city versus the county. I mean, we, we have jobs to do. And, 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 and one thing that the citizens, the constituents of Columbus, they, they told us that we need to hire able-bodied people to get in these positions. And we have a person that's well qualified in this position. And I mean, he knows how his department needs to be ran. The chief says that once they can solve some of the issues in the department, he is open to reviving the task force. Both the chief and sheriff say their agencies will readjust and continue to combat these issues in the city and county. The four city officers will be reporting back to the police station on Thursday.